Hey everyone, it's me, Nathan from Nathan's Way. I am doing a tea haul today from my favorite it, tea shop, the Cozy Tea Cart. They're located in Brookline, New Hampshire, and they also have uh, places online where you can purchase this um, tea from. Now, I am going to make myself a pot of Madagascar bourbon vanilla. Bourbon vanilla. So... I wanted to also share share this so I have it brewing right now and look at this app it's called the the perfect brew tea timer I believe it's um, from something games I don't know but here, here's what it looks like. So all you do is hit start. And then this is a black tea, a black blend. So I am going to do that. And you see this little thing? And then all you do is whoop, boop. And then it starts a timer for you. So while this is brewing, I am going to talk to you about the cozy tea cart. The Cozy Tea Cart is one of my favorite shops. It's like, it's where I go, like, when I just want to bring my friends and spend hours upon hours over pots of tea, maybe have a little lunch, and it's just, it's just so wonderful and so amazing. And I literally spent hours in there doing tarot readings for my friends and having the conversation of a lifetime and just like enjoying company and there are so many people I would love to bring to that little tea shop but unfortunately I am now living in Georgia and going to be going back to New Jersey if I'm not already by the time this this airs so I might be visiting this the tea shop a couple times so I did a gigantic haul because I didn't know when the next time I will be coming back and I want to make sure mama got tea <laughs> I got tea so I got a huge long list of tea and I wanted to share it so let me just m maneuver stuff because last time I did this or tried to do this this microphone was so far away and I forgot to hit play so let's maneuver this boop, 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 boop. okay and then maneuver this hi okay so we have one minute and and one minute left so let's see what else so the cozy tea cart is um the cozy tea cart is just such a wonderful part of my life and I had many good times there. And I will tell you a little bit more about the backstory as soon as this timer is done. So I don't know whether I should start the haul now or figure something else to ramble about. You know what? I'll start the haul and then pause it. So this is my haul. <laughs> so it says the cozy tea cart indulge yourself so it has the website the cozy tea cart .com, and they're um, located at 104 a route 13 Brookline New Hampshire 03033 now let's see oh tea is done see it does a little song and dance. Now, to be perfectly honest, I already brewed it. Brewed it. <laughs> See, I already brewed it. So let me just pour myself a glass. It smells so delectable. Mm, yum. Cheers. Mm. 
so good. You can taste um, you can taste a black tea with that vanilla hint, and it kind of makes this bourbony taste to it. Oh, so good. I thought I was reaching for my smoky black tea, but when I went to dish it out, it was um, Madagascar bourbon. So let's get started on the haul. So. I don't know how many teas I have in here, so let's. So Earl Grey Lavender, look at this. So Earl Grey Lavender is one of my favorites, um, because it has that Earl Grey and Lavender hit, and it's really nice because I like especially when you just want like something to calm yourself at the end of the day i actually use this as a tea to bind my incense my lavender incense so i would ground up um i would have my ground up lavender with my maco powder and i would use this as a binder to hold it all together so yeah that's a very lovely tea and then let's see. I have organic gunpowder. This is a very high quality gunpowder green green tea. It is just very lovely. It like they come in these little pearls. Let me just see if I can. They come in like these little. Like, it's not a good accent, but well, maybe it is like this little pearl and and when you put them in tea they just like they magnify it like to th they like on they rehydrate it and unfold and I think it would be good for tea leaf reading but that's something down the line I kind of want to learn but um what else is here Lemon solstice, oh, this is my go-to. I love it. It's, um, I love it especially during the summer months, or, or especially like this would be very good for Beltane, Beltane, or All Star, or All Star, or like the spring solstice, or summer solstice, and it's a black tea with, like, it has a very lemony kick to it. Um, yeah, it has. It's just. I think it has lemon balm and lemon grass in it. I'm not 100% sure, but it, it's just very delectable. And so we got the sweet rose. So this one is one of my my good friend Brittany's favorite. And let me show you these. Like this is amazing. Oh, okay. Um, like, I want to open it, but, okay, only because I like you guys, I'll open it. Oof. I hate opening things when I'm not ready to use it, but. Mm. So. These come in little hearts, and you just drop one, I believe, in your tea, in your, um, in your tea, okay, in your teapot, okay, so here's the instructions, let me try to get all the air out and reseal it, so it says, use one pressed roast tea in a mug, heat with water to... 208 degrees Fahrenheit rinse for up to 12 seconds and pour pour the liquid steep for steep for 1 to 12 minutes it's maybe infused multiple times used in a teapot um, 12 to 20 ounce rinse then steep for er, three, uh, 
two to three minutes. Okay. So those those directions confuse me a little bit, just a little bit, because I don't know what they mean. Rinse for up to ooh, 12 seconds and pour pour off the liquid. I don't know what that means. I might have to um, call them and ask when I'm ready to uh, be drinking this. So yeah, if you're watching this cozy TR, I will be calling you soon and asking about this. So, oh gosh, let me just maneuver stuff. Sorry. Okay, so next, let's see. Jasmine Phoenix Pearls, these are amazing. I actually have some still in use, so I'm not going to open this. And these are kind of like the gunpowder green, but they come in little pearls, and then they bloom when they, a, a, um, when they steep. So that is wonderful. And what else? A lemon Lift. Lemon Lift is kind of like, um, it's kind of like uh, a lemon solstice, but I think lemon solstice is actually decaf. Let me check. Lemon solstice. I don't know. But um, it has different notes, different flavors. I think one is lemon balm and one is lemon grass. I will have to get back to you on that. Um, but they are both so delectable. I love my lemon teas. Okay, so this one, another lemon. This one is organic lemon ginger. And this is a green tea actually. And, and by the way it sounds, it sounds really good. I haven't had this one yet. And I'm really excited to try it. It has a lemon and ginger in it. And you cannot go wrong with those two. Sorry, let me just scoot stuff around. Mm, that tea. This tea is so amazing. Oh, it's so soothing, so calming. And it, like wakes you up. This is the type of tea, this Madagascar bourbon vanilla, that I want when I'm watching the sunrise on that porch. <laughs> on that porch um, when the sun rises and just get my energy. energy. So this is another one that, <laughs> another lemon, uh, it's called lemon chiffon. So I cut Lemon chiffon, lemon ginger, lemon lift, and lemon solstice. So, I'm I'm uh, lemon is one of my favorite flavors. Like it's, yeah, it it's it's a go-to. Ooh, what's this? Oh, so they gave me a little sample. Oh, I'll just put that to the side. Oh, it looks like they gave me a couple samples. So. This is organic lemon drop. Um, that one's an herbal tea. So, oh, I think this is more um, different lemon type herbs. And I'll, I'll do a little comparison contrast and make a little, couple notes maybe uh, in a future video. Maybe when I do, maybe when I do another, another haul from them, because there will probably be another haul way down the road so oh and then white almond blush oh my gosh this one is really good this is very um it, it's a white tea so it's very like it's a lighter tea it's not like one of those heavy like like it's it doesn't it's not heavy i mean all tea is so good but it's has this um flowery almond type taste to it and it's just really well done now oh i am planning on getting more familiar with tea um i want to start my tea research i just haven't had the time 
to do so because there are a lot of things I want to learn and a lot of things going on. But I am interested in the Specialty Tea Institute. Um, they have a location, I, their home base is in New York, and I'm going to be moving to New Jersey, so I might start taking those classes soon. There are like four levels, and you learn how to taste tea, how to like blend tea, and that's um and the cozy tea car is is um is a part of the specialty tea family tea institute family um i believe i'm not 100 percent sure they have they have um all the certificates on the wall all um at the cozy tea shop and and the cozy tea car and it's just like it's just phenomenal i'm entranced in the world of tea mm. oh so good so what's next so what is next is an orange squeeze i think there was a lemon no there's no lemon squeeze so i got an orange squeeze another citrusy flavor and it probably has a little couple like dried up oranges in there so who sounds so good I think I actually had that one at Brittany's house um, when she was dealing with something rather. Um, oh, this one is me and Colleen's, one of me and Colleen's favorite, Milk Oolong. It is so good. Um, very earthy, very, very nice. Um, so I am going to read the back. This extraordinary unique oolong tea from Central Highlands of Taiwan offers fresh flavors, velvety milk, sweet light notes, and deep golden green infusion, very silky with pronounced creamy, buttery, sweet character to the flavor. This is a premium tea. Oh, this premium tea will yield old multiple delicious infusions bring water to a boil so yeah i can attest to how creamy and rich and smooth it is naturally now oh what is amazing about their products is you can re have get one or two steeps i mean you just it, it just takes a little longer for it to brew so like this pot i can probably get three out of out of it so i just gotta uh, wait a little longer okay oh coming to the end coming to the end and oh this is black pearl okay every time i go there black pearl always like i'm always opening the jar and like smelling it because it smells so good i have not yet had it but there are like these big pearls that just they just are so delectable and it's um black tea and yeah i just wish that all of these had more of a description on them but i can probably understand that for certain reasons especially in like this industry where you want to make sure that your tea blends are yours but i would love like a description like they did the um milk oolong or that and i love how they give you directions on how to brew it i just i just wish that um one of these pots uh one of these had an extra actual temperature you can set it instead of high low and medium I always have mine on high, but I really just, I want an electric teapot. You can just set your, um, or tea kettle that you can just set your, um, set your, set to your, um, temperature. I'm sure they have one, but I have not been able to find it yet. Um, so they did give me samples because I did do a huge haul i mean the owner er, is she is so wonderful um and yeah let's see i got 
hold on. I just want to double check I get my facts right. Now, I'll go to Instagram. Okay, so Danielle, Danielle, she is so wonderful. Like, she added like these little samples, and like, it, they were they were out of like I, I ran them out of one flavor, and she's like, "Oh, don't worry. Next time you order, just let us know, and we'll make sure that um, we'll help you out with your next order." And they're they're just so amazing, like. They're, they're such wonderful people there. I Every time I went, I saw, like, they're looking for help, and I would have loved to have worked there, but at, at the moment, I just, I couldn't see myself doing that because I, I was in the middle of a lot of different things, and, yeah, it's... But one day, I really do hope I can work closely with Danielle and... It, when I get my T certifications and I can work with her, maybe apprentice under her, but um, but yeah, I mean, and you can see from the Instagram that um, oh T Studio, what is that? Ooh, so making tea at the T Studio first woman-run factory in the history okay that's really cool so oh this is on her instagram i hope she doesn't mind it's <laughs> you can't see it but it's her er, with um in the front of uh a sign that says tea studio and she's like and the caption is making tea at the tea studio at the first woman-run factory in the history of tea fun day for all empowered by women fun day for all empowered by women and then like she's like she took pictures and all that fun stuff i mean she travels with her tea like it just looks like so much fun like like this is kind of what i want to do like she travels to like tea plantations she travels to ooh, a whole lot of things um they do did do a field trip um they did do a field trip uh to one of the carolinas to a tea plantation there i wish i could have joined them but it, it like like i said i am a little bouncy bounce lately and i'm still a little bouncy bounce oh, it's um but yeah, I mean, she does a lot of traveling, and she's like blending tea, and yeah, I'm, I have a much respect for her and her business. And see, look at the that that's a pressed heart. Oh, why didn't I see like her go to her Instagram first? Because she has some of these teas on display, so I didn't have to open them. But I'm glad I did have to open them because maybe I'll have a little pot later. But, I mean, that's, um, <laughs> the, sorry, it's from my phone, but, um, those are, like, the little tins and the little jars you can smell, shake, and feel out, and, oh, it's so amazing, um, and, like, they do special blends, and I'm just loving the sense of, ooh, what is that? <gasps> ooh, kombucha totally trending right now and we're excited to it's new exposure of tea industry starting with sweet tea Ooh, that looks good okay i gotta stop like scrolling on her instagram because it just makes me like wanna like drink all this tea in one sitting which don't do don't ever do you savor tea, love tea. But no, she travels a lot to like different regions of the world exploring new teas. And that is why I really like the cozy tea cart because you see them like you see them at um, 
like if you sit if you're sitting down for tea and look on the walls and you can see their travels and and stuff so they actually threw a couple little samples this is a jade ulo which looks delicious afternoon revival and earl gray hey calabrian essence calabrian essence so yeah i so i got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve teas and like egg three probably two cups two well actually more if you re-steep. Remember, you can always re-steep, it just takes a little longer. And this is a business card. Oh. I don't know if this is a private business card or not, but sorry, Danielle, let me know if it was a private business card and I will blur it out. Um, but yeah, I mean, so her name's Danielle Boadet. I really hope I pron I'm very bad at pronouncing her name. I'm very bad at pronouncing names, so oh forgive me. I'm learning. I I swear I'm learning, but yeah, so Oh, for now. For now everyone. Enjoy a really nice cup of tea one that makes you super happy and just enjoy your moment as best you can and like always much love and best wishes bye everyone